Welcome to Mishnah study. We're up to Masechet Demai, Perek Bet Mishnah Dalit. Over here, we're going to speak about some exceptions to professions who are not obligated in separating the Turumat Maaser from Demai. And we'll discuss why in a moment, but let's just go through them. And first, we're going to, go to speak about bakers and the grocery stores. Those are going to be the two main uh, focuses. And then we're going to move on to also wholesalers in a certain sense. All right, so we'll discuss why. Hanachtomim. So firstly, the Rahtomim are bakers. Hachamim didn't force them, right? Didn't obligate them, better yet, to separate. Right? When now when they have the demai, what do they need to separate? All they need to separate is the trumat ma'asir and hala. Hala in general, they always have to separate hala. Every baker needs to separate hala and give that to the kohen. It's part of the trumat that goes to the kohen. And the trumat ma'asir, that's the 1%, because again, that's a, a very significant, um, severe punishment, right? It's liable death from heaven. So Hamim said, we can't leave this as Tevil. So we need to, of course, they need to do that. But when it comes to Maaser Sheni, we're not going to force them. We're not going to obligate them to separate Maaser Sheni. Now, why? What's so special about a baker? So because they were so strict and they fixed prices for bread. So the bakers were so tight, it was very hard for them to make money. And because there were such fixed prices, Achamim didn't want to force them also to have to shell out anything additional. So therefore, these bakers, they said, because of the fixed pricing, they're not going to be obligated in separating the Ma'asir Sheni, right from Demai. Hanvanim, that's the next case. Hanvanim are store owners, right? Grocery store owners. Over here, they are not allowed to sell Demai. If they have anything, right, we don't say, oh, they look at them, go and sell it and let the person who bought it, bought it from them go ahead and separate, you know, whatever is needed. No, they need to fix it themselves. They need to separate all the appropriate matanot from the demai, and then they could sell the, prop, the, 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 the produce. Why? So Harabam explains this because of the young children who would come. They'd buy something, some nuts, you know, that was their candy back then. They come, they buy something, and they eat it without probably separating the uh, Tirumat Maaser, right? They're eating Tevel. They're, they're, that's also, we don't want these kids eating Tevel, right? Because again, the severity of it. So therefore we say these store owners have to separate um, the Tirumat Maaserot on their own first. And lastly, is anyone that sells Mashpi'im B'midagasa, they actually pile up, right? A lot of times you have a grocery store owner. He doesn't just give the basic amount. He gives a... Uh, you know, if he's measuring a pound, he gives a pound, then he adds a little bit more, right? These people are very careful about um, really giving the appropriate measurements. And they would add a little more just to know that I'm 100% giving them the right amount that I told them I was supposed to be giving them. Um, actually, my grandfather always says how, you know, his grandfather used to have a you know a store you know bakery and also the same idea whenever people would come in he would always you know take everything wait on the scale and add a little bit more just to make sure it's 100 uh the person was getting the exact measurement so let's say a person goes in and does this right he's adding extra so we allow that person to sell the mic why because he's adding extra we're not going to go now and force him to go ahead and separate let the buyer Who's, bought, who's purchasing it, who's getting a little bit extra, it could be his responsibility to separate the matanot from the demai. And similarly, if someone is, who's considered, who's considered someone who's, you know, adds on a little more, a siton. A siton is usually translated as someone who is a, a wholesaler, right? So he's, he's buying, in, uh, buying and selling in bulk. Right, so that's someone who you know we're not going to obligate him to uh, separate all the matanot, and someone who sells tivua, same idea again because they are, um, you know, selling in bigger portions. So the person who's purchasing it from them could take the responsibility to separate the demai on their own.